Hi guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're continuing our exciting look at the 2014 Godzilla toy line by looking at this guy. It's a Godzilla pack of destruction. Now uh, we're really excited to get this one out of the box as it's a movie accurate toy and we want to get a closer look at the new Godzilla. Um, as you can see it comes with these destructible bits of uh, city which is cool and it comes with a little jet plane as well. Okay, let's take a closer look at the packaging. Starting off here in the top corner, we've got this beautiful picture of the new 2014 Godzilla, and it's great to see a first look of what he looks like close up. And you can see he's rendered in watercolors or something similar, and uh, he really does hark back to the original Godzilla we all know and love. And then over here, we seem to have some helicopters here flying around in some sort of giant electrical orangey storm. Pretty cool. And then here's Godzilla, entombed in transparent plastic. And we will get a closer look at him in just a minute. Then we got the jet plane there, flying above this city in pieces. And uh, it looks like they all fit together and you can smash them apart again, so that's going to be awesome. Then we got the Godzilla logo here, with uh, the spines of, I'm assuming that's Godzilla in the background. And it says Pack of Destruction, and it's made by Bandai, who are quite quick off the mark to get some Godzilla toys out. And that's great. At the bottom, we just got some literature, and then on the back, we got the Godzilla logo, Pack of Destruction. And then you can see here the two figures in the wave. We've got Godzilla destroying the city, and we've got the Muto, which apparently is a, an ancient foe of Godzilla, also destroying the city. And his comes with a helicopter by the looks of it. And then at the bottom, we've just got this big picture of a cityscape and you've got Godzilla just poking out of the water there. Okay, so without further ado, let's get this guy out of the packaging. Okay, so here we have the Godzilla pack of destruction out of the box and doesn't this look fantastic? I've taken the liberty of assembling the little cityscape. All these parts come apart and slot together really simply. They just sit together. Um, they're not spring-loaded or anything like that. And then you've got the little jet plane down here. It's great that the set comes with a city and plane and Godzilla. There's so much playability here uh, for an action figure that I think it's absolutely fantastic. The city is hollow so if I turn it around without tr smashing it over you can see it's hollow in the back but to be honest that doesn't deter me much because it looks great on the shelf and you can smash it to pieces with Godzilla. Okay so let's start by taking a closer look at the city pieces. So, being the perfectionist that I am, I would like to have seen some kind of paint detail or weathering or something on the buildings to give a little bit of contrast, because at the moment they're cast in this sort of block grey plastic, but it's great that we even got these, so I shouldn't complain really. The other thing that would be nice is if this had more of a sort of a cracked uh, rock interior where the pieces fit together, um, but uh, yeah, you know, these are small complaints. Um, the other thing that could be nice is if they fit together and actually um, sort of snapped together and then were spring loaded so it could actually explode as Godzilla walks through it. Um, but for really the price point, what you're getting is pretty cool. Here's the next piece. So you can see there's a contrast in the window sizes, just makes it look like a real building. And then here's another piece here, more of a sort of a skyscraper piece, this one. And here's the jet plane that comes with this set. Again, would have been nice to have had some paint detailing on this one. But you can't really complain because you're getting quite a lot for the price point. So that's pretty cool that you get a plane. And it is quite nicely sculpted. You can see it. There, it's got a little nicely sculpted cockpit. And it's got these little uh, folded wings. They're actually folded um, asymmetrically. So one side is folded out further than the other. So it just gives you this nice sort of feeling of a you know, nice sculpt of a plane. Okay, and here is Godzilla himself. And uh, doesn't he look fantastic? So this is the film accurate version of the toy. We have reviewed the Godzilla minis, the chibi minis. Um, go and check out the link for those down below if you haven't seen it already. And uh, yeah, this does look really nicely detailed. And it's great to have our first look at Godzilla in 3D, in our hands, having a look at him from all angles. So he does look really cool. Okay, let's get a closer look at him. Starting off with the head sculpt. You can see it's pretty accurate to what we saw on the front of the packaging. Very nice. And it does very much resemble the Godzilla that we remember from our childhoods. Very cool. I love all these sort of crocodile-like scales running along the back, all these ridges of armor. 
really really nice this thing is packed with detail and as we go down the back we can see those famous fins running all the way along the spine really nice shell like scales going down the arms and here particularly the stomach feels very crocodilian really really nice I love all the feeling of the sort of segmentation of all these scales really nicely sculpted and as we come down the arm you can see we've got some nice chubby Godzilla like hands and if you remember in the old Toho films um, Godzilla used to have um, a man playing the Godzilla in a suit and therefore the, um, the fingers were always a little bit chubby and they've stayed true to that uh, we appreciate those chubby fingers and then as we go down the rib cage here you can see there's lovely scales going on and it, as we join up with the legs you can see there's a nice contrast in the type of scales going down the legs again it feels very crocodilian lovely contrast in the types of scales that we're getting all over the body we go from this one down to this sort of almost like um, almost like scales of a fish as we come up with the leg there really nice and then you can see some nicely sculpted toe claws very nice indeed on the inner leg and then underneath we've just got a serial number very very nice as we join up with the tail you can see we've got this very crocodilian or sort of alligator like tail very segmented and it comes up in a nice flick at the end now with the um, the paint job it's sort of this um, gunmetal black, similar to what we saw on the Chibi Minis. And uh, on the underside, we've got this sort of brownish gray um, airbrushing going on. So it's hard to tell in this light, but you can just make out that it's a different coloration. It's a bit lighter. And of course, we've got the yellow painted eyes and the white painted teeth. And that's it for the paint job. In terms of articulation, you can rotate the arms up and down. Let's see if we can go full 360. Yes, you can. So there we go. And the legs. Oh, whoa! Oh, his leg came off. This happens to me quite a lot in reviews. Legs come off things. So um, Godzilla's legs do come off. If you feel inclined to put him in a battle situation where he loses a leg, you have that option. Um, but it's easy to pop back on, as you just saw. So there we go. So the legs rotate as well. It's the same situation as those Tomy minifigures that we had on the channel. Um, they just need a little bit of a turn, a little bit of a push to actually get going and then after that they're they're loose and rotate fine um, the head does not rotate the tail does not rotate so that's it for articulation on this guy of course the play feature let's bring in Godzilla and oh, burst through the city and he did have the plane in his mouth but it came out because he smashed so hard into those buildings you can actually put the plane in his mouth um, I find it works best if you put it in via the tail fin and um, that fits nicely into his mouth so that is cool. So what's cool about this set as well is you can offset these buildings to make them look kind of cracked. Which is pretty cool. So you can make the city look a little bit more damaged. Okay, let's get some sizes for you guys. So the Godzilla measures about three and a half inches tall, which is about nine centimeters. The buildings come up to about four and a half inches, which is about 12 centimeters. And the little plane down here is just over an inch long, so about three centimeters long. Um, in terms of the width of the Godzilla, you're looking at about two inches, uh, which is about five, four, five centimeters. And in terms of his length, you're looking at about five and a half inches. Let's just bring him in. Whoa, five and a half inches, which is about 14 centimeters long. Scale comparison time. Let's bring in the man in a cage that comes with our Bolt T-Rex giveaway on the main page right now. Gives you some idea how big this figure is. It's quite short, but to be fair, the playability that you get with this set more than makes up for it. And here's the Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex, recently reviewed on the channel, link down below if you haven't seen that one already. And you can see how the Godzilla scales up with this. And here's Godzilla next to the Chibi minifigure, which we just recently reviewed on the channel, link down below. And I think it looks like his chubby little brother. <coughs> and if you like big beasts, here's the Bull T-Rex from 1997's Kenner. Uh, we are giving away this one on the channel homepage right at the moment, so go and check that out. Uh, entry is simple and free. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the Godzilla 
pack of destruction. I think this is a great little set for the price point. You get the Godzilla, you get the city, and you get the jet plane. I would have liked more paint detailing on both the Godzilla and the city, if I'm honest, um, but for what you're getting, it's a really cool little set. Hopefully, Bandai will release one that's just a sort of a dedicated Godzilla figure so that we can get a bit more detail on the hero character. But uh, it's a pretty good set. Let me know what you guys think. Will you be picking this one up? Are you looking forward to the movie? What parts are you looking forward to the most? The trailers look pretty cool at the moment, so let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, rate and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.